السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر سعید علی مردان عظمی ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل ان دس لیکچر وی ول لرن سم بیسک اباؤٹ پولر کوارڈینیٹس اینڈ پولر انٹیگرلس اینڈ وی ول آلسو لرن ہاؤ وی کین ٹرانسفارم اے کارٹیزین انٹیگرل انٹو اے پولر انٹیگرل اے پولر کوارڈینیٹ از اے سسٹم وچ از یوزڈ ٹو لوکیٹ اے پوائنٹ ان ٹو ڈائمنشن پلین اے پوائنٹ ان پولر کوارڈینیٹ از ریپرزنٹڈ بائی ار ان تھیٹا ویئر ار از دا ڈسٹنس اف دا پوائنٹ فرام دا اوریجن ان تھیٹا از دا اینگل میڈ ان کاؤنٹر کلاک وائز ڈائریکشن وتھ پازیٹو ایکس ایکسس ان دس ڈائگرام اف پی از اے پوائنٹ دین دس لائن which represents the value of r distance of the point from the origin and theta is the angle made by this point with with positive x axis in counter clockwise direction next these are the transformation equation in order to convert cartesian coordinates into polar coordinates x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta and for the reverse process and for the reverse process we have R squared is equal to x squared plus y squared and theta is equal to tan inverse of y over x. Next, here is the general representation of a polar integral. Double integral over the region are f of r of theta dA. Please note that in Cartesian system, the value of d is dx dy or dy dx depending on your inner and outer variable. But in polar coordinates, the value of dA is always r dr d theta. So in order to solve this integral, we will always replace da with r dr d theta this is the function whose integration has to be carried out and these are the limits of r and these are the limits of theta since r is our inner variable so limits of r may be constant may be variable but the limits of theta are always in the form of constant number real numbers and here the limits of theta are in the form of radian meyer angle in counter clockwise direction with positive x axis next we will learn how we can calculate the limits of r in order to calculate limits of r we will pass an arrow from the origin crossing this region your region of integration like this the boundary through which this arrow enters will gives you the lower limit and the boundary through which this arrow exit will gives you the upper limit next in order to calculate limits of theta we will calculate the starting angle and the ending angle of the region in counter clockwise direction with positive x axis here your region start at this point so the angle of this point is taken as alpha here and your this region ends at this point and the angle of this point is taken as beta so the limits of theta are alpha to beta next we you must know what is an equation of circle and which of which part of the equation of circle represented by which curve or which part of the graphical form of the circle now this is a general equation which centered at ab and radius r if we shift this equation or if we shift this circle at origin that is 0 0 then we'll take its center at 0 0 so equation number 1 reduces as equation number 2 x square plus y square is equal to r square now if we solve this equation for x we have equation number 3 and 4 and if we solve this equation for y we have equation number 5 and 6 next we will learn which part of the circle is represented by equation number 3 4 5 and 6 from equation number 2 x is equal to minus square root of r square minus y square is a semicircle in the left half plane x is equal to square root of r square minus y square is a is a semicircle in right half plane y is equal to square root of r square minus x square is a circle in the upper half plane y is equal to minus square root of r square minus x square is a circle in the lower half plane after knowing these basic things now you are able to solve this particular question change the cartesian integral into the equivalent polar integral now in order to convert this cartesian integral into a polar integral we have to sketch the region of integration in order to sketch the region of integration we need some boundaries and these boundaries are obtained from the limiting value of the variable here the limits of x is minus 1 and 1 now x equal to minus 1 and x equal to 1 are the vertical lines y is equal to square root of 1 minus x square is equation of semi circle in the upper half plane with center at origin and radius 1 and y is equal to minus square root of 1 minus x square is equation of semi circle in the lower half plane with center at origin and radius 1 so when we combine third and fourth boundary we will get a complete circle like this now have a look here i have made different colors for your better understanding 
x equal to minus 1 is equation of a vertical line. y is equal to square root of 1 minus x square is a circle in the lower half plane. x equal to 1 is a vertical line. y is equal to square root of 1 minus x square is a circle in the upper half plane. So, here xx and yx is not involved in y boundaries. So, this complete circle is our required region of integration. Highlighting our region of integration, next we will calculate the limits. In order to calculate limits of R, we can pass an arrow from the origin to any side. On each side, you can see the distance of the center from the boundary is constant, which is equal to radio circle, and that is 1. So here the limits of R are 0 to 1. And for limits of theta, Please note that in counterclockwise direction, you have a complete circle. Your region starts at this point, and after complete rotation, you will come at this point again. So, limits of theta are 0 to 2 pi, means 0 to 360 degree. So, in the next step, we have converted this given integral into a polar integral. Limits of r are 0 to 1, limits of theta are 0 to 2 pi. 2 over 1 plus I have replaced x square plus y square with r square, and d by dx with r dr d theta. After this, I will make some simplification. And in order to integrate, we have you have to know this formula. What is this formula? If there is a function with some power and the derivative of the function inside the power is available here as a multiplier, then we will integrate this whole term as f of x raised to power n plus 1 over n plus 1 means we will add 1 in the power of the function and divide with the same. So in the next step, we will convert this integral into this form. I have shifted the denominator in the numerator and I have adjusted this two with this r. Now you can see the derivative of 1 plus r squared is 0 plus 2r which is equal to r available here as a multiplier. Now we can apply this formula here. So the integration of this whole integral is 1 plus r squared raised to power minus 2 plus 1 over minus 2 plus 1 for the given limit 0 to 1. In the next step, evaluating these terms, making the simplification in proper form so that I can apply the limits easily. I have shifted the numerator in the denominator so that it become positive 1 and I have shifted this minus outside from the denominator here. In the next step, applying the limits, upper limit minus lower limit, making the simplification. I have minus one by two plus one. Now minus one by two plus one is one by two. You can take it outside and integration of d theta is theta for the given limits. Applying the limits, making the simplification, our answer is pi. I hope you have understood these questions. Please like, subscribe, and share this content with your fellows. Allah Hafiz.